What up, what up, what up? It's yours truly just said with me. They call me Mr. Telefero. It is the holiday season. And as promised, my AirPod slash Amazon gift card giveaway is about to happen on my Instagram account at is Mr. Telefero. I already got my pair of AirPods right here. I want to help you get yours. If you want a chance to win some AirPods and gift cards, you got to do three things for me. Follow me on Instagram at is Mr. Telefero. I need you to like and share five of my posts on my page. There's only going to be like five or six posts. Like and share five of them to your Instagram story. And then comment done under one of my posts. And just like that, you're in the running to win AirPods and Amazon gift cards. Y'all know I don't play about my giveaways. It's my opportunity to show love to you for showing love to me throughout the year. This is serious to me. Again, we're going to make the announcement maybe a couple days after Christmas. But make sure you do those three things. And you're in the running to win some free AirPods and Amazon gift cards this holiday season. Enjoy the video. What's going on? It's yours. Truly just say it with me. They call me Mr. Telefer. How's everybody doing out there? WAC 100, man. WAC 100 has had a very interesting uh, week, to say the least. WAC 100 had been doing interviews, and he had been speaking on Nipsey in probably not the most positive light. And we kind of live by this unwritten rule in hip-hop. If somebody passes away, show love. Don't do anything else but show love. And WAC 100 wasn't just showing love to Nipsey. He was answering other questions that could be perceived as speaking down on that man and his legacy uh, post-mortem. And it looks like Nipsey's former bodyguard caught up with him at a show, and he decided to put the pause on WAC 100. Now, here's what happens in this generation. When you get jumped or you get hit or there's allegations of you getting your ass beat, what do you do? You hop on social media, Wack 100 did that, and then you go do interviews, and Wack 100 did that. In an interview with Hollywood Unlocked, not only did Wack 100 uh, address the alleged incident that he had with Nipsey's former bodyguard, he went on to talk about another situation very prevalent in the news, and that is Takashi 69. As we know, Takashi 69 found out his face last Wednesday. He found out that he wouldn't be getting out before the holiday season. But, 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 still good news because he's going to only have to do about seven or eight more months, a total uh, of about two years in prison, almost like 18, 19 months in prison for his involvement in the rack of tearing case uh, that centered around the nine trade gang. Now, WAC 100 being a street dude has a different perspective than a lot of other people in hip hop. I want to read you guys some comments from WAC 100's interview with Hollywood Unlocked. WAC 100 said Takashi 69 he did nothing wrong by snitching on the Nine Trade Gang. He said this is one of this is what's going to happen to 69. 69 is going to get out and he's going to move to Europe. He's going to be a bigger streaming artist than before he left. In defense of Takashi 69, he did nothing wrong. Do you blame 6ix9ine or do you blame that fucking block? They knew he was not a gangster, so why were you subjecting him to gangster shit? Wack 100 then went on to compare uh, Takashi 6 ix 9 situation to uh, one of the personalities over there at Hollywood Unlocked is gay, right? So he used this comparison pretty much saying, I'm summarizing here, he pretty much said if there was a, a locker room full of straight guys and they let a gay guy on the team and the gay guys in the locker room looking at the straight guys in a uh, prov provocative way, WAC 100 was like, whose fault is it? Is it the gay guys for being gay? Is it the gay guy for being himself, which is gay? Or is it the straight guys for allowing him on the team and into the locker room? It was a very uh, weird comparison. Uh, also on social media, somebody uh, called out WAC for the comment about 6 9 saying, yo, bro, he did do something wrong. Uh, and WAC responded by saying, yeah, Takashi's a clown, but he's also a civilian. He said the kid wasn't a street kid. I have photos of the kid four months before he blew up working at the corner store. They exposed him way too much. I'm against snitching. I'm also against involving those that don't live by their code being included under the code. So WAC 100 is pretty much saying, yeah, Takashi's a clown for snitching. But he's like, yo, it's the street dude's fault. They knew what was going to happen when they decided to extort this kid shoddy and company they knew there was a chance that this could go south and if it went south how you, could you expect this kid to do anything else but be a good kid which was a law-abiding citizen which is a snitch 
You know what I mean? That's essentially that's what Wack 100 is saying. I'm not 100% on the side of Wack. I get what he's saying, but at the end of the day, I'm I don't care who you are. If you decide to participate in some incident or some type of situation with people and it goes left, you got to hold it down. I'm not in the streets right now. I don't mind telling niggas that. I'm not in the streets right now, but I could walk outside and make a mistake and do something stupid because I see somebody else doing something and I join in. And off that alone, I got to be willing to do whatever comes with that. Like I could go, like my homies could get to fight and I could come join in. And let's say we really harm this dude, right? And we really put somebody in a hospital. Okay, I'm a law-abiding citizen for the most part, but in that moment, I made a mistake. It, the benefit was we wanted to help out my homie. At that moment, I'm now subject to whatever comes with that. Am I going to hold it down and not tell law enforcement officials what we did, or am I going to tell? I don't believe I got the right to tell. I knew what I was doing. I wanted it to benefit me and my friend. That, to me, that's the side, That's where Takashi's at with it. He made a decision. He benefited. His rap career substantially benefited from the street cred and the trolling that him and the Nine Trace set were doing and some of the real crimes that they were participating in because he got street cred off of that beef with Casanova, the beef with YG and again. He got street cred off of some of that shit. The beef with uh over in Austin, Texas and, and in Texas, uh, with with Jay Prince and company, he got some street cred off that. Let's call it spade a spade, some clout off that. And he needs to be subject to the penalties of the other guys. That's my opinion. But hey, he ran it, and he's going to get a lot of time served, and he'll be out in 2020 at some point. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Y'all let me know what y'all think about what WAC 100 said, and also what I said on the back end of this video in the comment box below. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, at Mr. Telefero. I'm out. I came from nothing. But I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.